This week, on one of the most significant dates in Hong Kong's history, Film Night comes from the island that's home to the third biggest film industry in the world. And now that the official handover is completed and Hong Kong returns to Chinese rule, we take a look at the movies here, from action to art house, and ask what's on the menu for Hong Kong cinema after the great Chinese takeaway. Coming up on tonight's show, we join action king Ringo Lam on the set of his new film for his first ever television interview. Art house director Stanley Kwan sheds light on the dark side of melodrama. Australian cinematographer Chris Doyle tells us about his relationship with indie wunderkind Wong Kar Wai and the film that's already in trouble with the Chinese censors, the historical drama The Soong Sisters. Even before 1997, the Hong Kong film industry had proved that it could cope and indeed thrive on change. The mid-80s saw the beginning of a new wave of young filmmakers with an entertaining and highly original style and vision. The most important strand to emerge is the Hong Kong action movie, spearheaded by directors Ringo Lam, Choi Hock and John Woo. Films such as The Killer and A Better Tomorrow were unlike anything that ever been seen before. The Hong Kong action movie blasted its way to fame in the late 80s, when traditional karate chops, high kicks and Shaolin monks were replaced by shotguns, gangsters and gore. Phonetic pacing and high-octane editing were the order of the day as the Hong Kong action movie took us to places that Hollywood could only dream of. Kick it into touch. We joined action guru Ringo Lam on the less than glamorous, in fact downright dangerous set of his latest movie Full Alert as he prepared to shoot a tricky underwater robbery scene. He told us what makes the Hong Kong action movie a cut above the rest. We have been uh, shooting like this for years until now. So in fact we get, we get used to it. We have a limited money, limited time. Like this set, I have two divers in there. I cannot bring the light inside. I can only tell them to bring the existing light source, which are, which are two torches. And then I have to finish the whole scene. And you can make a film with two torches <laughs> and no other light. I have one excellent cinematographer. Everybody can bring in many 12Ks. If you don't have money, you have two torches, mm -hmm. right? You shoot with two torches, that will give you different feelings. <laughs> Hong Kong action stuff is different from the Hollywood action stuff. We have our own style. What is the difference, do you think, <coughs> the, the main difference? We are shooting in a different environment. And you show on the screen. <laughs> In Hong Kong, when you're shooting on the street, uh, it's the policeman keep coming and tell you you should stop. And the traffic you cannot control. They won't let you block the street. The filmmaker has to, has to keep moving, keep shooting, and collect the material, whatever. Just Go, do it. <laughs> Everybody's nervous. You feel the chaos in the scene. Very chaotic. All this energy and emotions show up on the screen. The place I was raised, uh, people just simply call it black spot, right? Black spot means lots of violence around there. I didn't participate in any violence, but I heard, I saw so much of violence. When people talk about violence, I don't know 
is the content or the context. If they say explosion of the head, too much blood coming from the wound, that's the reality. Reality or not, it's a winning formula that Hollywood has been eager to snap up. Following in the footsteps of action director John Woo, Lam made the Tinseltown trip to make the all-kicking, all-punishing Jean-Claude Van Damme vehicle maximum risk. Unlike Woo, though, Lam wasn't tempted to stay. Sometimes <laughs> you might easily get spoiled if you have too much money. And in Hollywood, they, they, they take a long time to uh, dress up for one, one setup mm -hmm. and run through the whole master. They have plenty of footage and the Hong Kong filmmaker, uh, in order to save time, save money, we normally don't do too many master shots, right? So we will do it shot by shot in order to save the footage. And because of this, we have much more uh, a different angle to cover the same scene. <laughs> that uh, what the Hollywood people buy. <laughs> when I make picture, I feel like I have one Chinese eye, one Western eye. My mentality, in fact, is half and half. <laughs> And the changeover in Hong Kong, to a certain extent, I, I prepare. It's difficult for me to uh, foresee what other changes are with the sensor board. You know? And I will, I will always try to do my best to see the hangover more in a positive way. I don't care whatever government, whatever management it is, they won't kick me out. I will stay. I love Hong Kong.